<laughs> okay, so I tried to dance my way in here. That didn't really work too well, but welcome to my review. Today, guys, we're taking a look at the brand new Bose Ultra Open. Yes, these are the earbuds you've seen that they Bose had a partnership with Kit. They basically hang on your ear like they are earrings. And they're very unique and they are very different into how they actually shape up. So before we go ahead and take a look at how it stacks up against the competition, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification icon, you know the deal, so you can watch more videos like this. So speaking of what Bose has brought to the table with the Ultra uh, Open Earbuds, these are very unique. They are priced at $299, so in terms of price points, this is up there. But how does this stack up against the competition? Let's take a look at the hardware itself before we jump in. It comes in two different colors. You've got this white or off cream, if you will, as well as also a black variant. The case is very simple. Uh, the earbuds actually rest on the top of the case. You can see it there. It's got an indicator in front. You've got a sync button in the back. It does not have wireless charge. And now you're going to be going, wow. Yeah, I know. I can't ask them the same question, but We'll talk about that in a second. Battery life is pretty interesting with this. You've got USB charging at the bottom uh, with each, with the buds basically giving you 7.5 hours of playtime if you're using them just regularly or if you're using them in the immersive mode, which we'll talk about, uh, that gives you about 4.5 hours. Now it does have a 48 hour standby time, which means you can rest them on your ears and you can use them for that long intermittently whenever it act, you actually use them. Now the case does give you 19.5 hours as well. So you do have a lot of battery life on this uh, to actually add up quite well. Now, design-wise, the uh, Bose Ultra Open are very unique. The way they hang around your ear, they don't go inside your ear, they go around your ear cartilage here and they rest. They look like clip-on earrings, honestly. And Bose has talked about unique styling and differences they actually want to use these buds for. Uh, they're very comfortable. Honestly, they are. I've used them for multiple days, uh, just on end. I've used them for actually probably around two weeks in general, but they feel very comfortable on the ear and they don't actually hurt in any way. Now, if you're one where you're used to using things like the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, or the AirPods Pro, which are in earbuds, then you know there's a stock difference. If I take this off right here, and I take, say, my AirPods Pro, I put them in, they go into my ear. These are in earbuds, and they go right in. And for some people, that's uncomfortable. Same thing with, say, the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, even though it's smaller, still goes into my ear. So you kind of see that there. The the Bose Ultras are basically probably the most comfortable earbuds I've ever used. When you look at them, uh, they're very small, they kind of roll up. They've got this uh, elastic uh, separator between the, ear, the earbud drivers and then the battery and the control center. So the battery is basically this drum center in the back. It's got a silver button on top and that's what you use for all your controls. Uh, and then you've got this other hard shell side that basically clips around with the driver. So this is a separate unit. And again, to put it on is just a boom, clip, you're done. They rest there and they are very comfortable. So I think in design, they are unique. I wouldn't say they beat out, say, the AirPods Pro or the um, Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, but they bring a very unique design that is probably the most comfortable pair of earbuds I've ever worn, hands down. So what about use case scenario? So I've used this in the gym, I've used it to work out, and I have to say it's super, super comfortable. Whether I'm doing heavy lifting or doing heavy weights, or even whether I am doing just on the jump rope and just jumping and doing some very ferocious exercises, they don't fall off. They just hang and they stay. That's probably one of the best parts I like about it. The only time I've noticed where it, it you know, was about to fall off was if you're wearing a sweater and you're pulling it up, you're gonna basically pull up against it and it's just gonna hit it and pull it over. That's the only time I'd experienced it where it actually wanted to fall off, but, and it didn't. But in all my general use case scenario, whether it's working out or at home or just shaking my head violently, which you should not do, it stayed and it stayed quite well. Okay, so we know it's comfortable. We know it hangs pretty well. What about the main things here? What about audio quality? Let's start off with that. That's really important. And I think this is where it's quite unique and different. And because these are open ear headphones, again, open ear, these don't go into your ear like in earbuds. 
Judging sound is a bit different for them. I think when you're looking at just pure sound quality and also fidelity and also maybe just more bass, you're gonna get it off the uh, Galaxy Buds 2 Pro and the AirPods Pro. It's just a given fact because those drivers are going directly into your ear. This is a bit different. Now, bass is not as good as I would like, but again, it's good enough. Um, and you can mess around with some of the audio settings with the app itself. They've got a nice little app that you can jump into that shows you the buds you're using, what song you're listening to at the moment. And when you go in, you see, of course, your battery indicator for both. You have your sources, if you have uh, different sources of music, you've got your modes, stereo and immersive. Um, stereo is just standard and of course immersive is basically spatial audio tracking and that immersive audio can be used either in the still function if it's stationary or motion so you move your head to the right you can hear the sound coming from a different angle so maybe drums behind you percussions in front that kind of thing in there and of course you can just turn it off if you want to then you also have your EQs which you can customize which I have done to increase the audio fidelity for me using them and then you have shortcuts and tips. So it's a very simple and straightforward app in that scenario. And why I brought that up is because you can go into those EQs and you can customize a bit more in there to give you uh, a better audio feel. Does it beat out the other two? No, it's just a matter of fact. But what it does really well is allow you to listen to music and be very aware of your surroundings. So going back to when I'm working out in the gym, I don't have to be lost in you know, the scene completely on to my workout without noticing people around me or noticing what's going on or walking down the street and not noticing that there are people walking around me as well. And it does a really good job with that. Now, if you're walking outdoors, you most likely have to increase the volume a bit louder just because there will be some bleed. Now, speaking of that, uh, volume, volume levels are pretty good. Now, if you're listening on a normal scenario whether you're indoors or maybe at the office you can put on a nice low setting you'll be fine but if you're somewhere that's louder you most likely have to increase that to get more volume from there the one thing i'll mention is that once you do that it starts to bleed out so people will hear what you're listening to whether it's a music or a podcast or anything of that scenario now you're going to ask the next question what about the microphones how good are they for voice calls they've been impressive they've been absolutely impressive i've used it to have calls with different friends uh, on most scenarios, they have worked excellently. I only had one call uh, the other day, which just didn't work out well. People thought I sounded far away. And when I, once I went ahead and did a software update, it actually fixed the issue there. So I've just, I will just mention that I had one scenario where it just didn't work out well, but my full time using it, the microphone worked really well. My conversations were really solid. Now extras, right? Now, the big extra here is, of course, the immersive audio, being able to track uh, in spatial audio your motion and what you're listening to. And that works well with songs that support that effectively. It does try to do that with songs that really don't. And it's not bad. I think it's better on steel than motion uh, when it comes to songs that don't really have you know, spatial audio. But those that do, they work really well. And it's really great, especially with this opening environment, because you could be listening to someone and then, of course, uh, you listen to music and it feels like it's coming from one direction or the other. It kind of makes sense with that. Now, when you kind of compare it to the other earbuds, you're going, okay, those give me active noise cancellation. This does not. It doesn't have active noise cancellation because they're open air. Um, and then you can also talk about the fact that they do have wireless charging. Why should I pick up the Bose uh, Ultra Open uh, earbuds? I think for me, one of the best benefits that I have experienced using them is the fact that um, I'm able to actually have conversations and be and also just tune down the music, tune it up to the level that I want to. I'm very aware of my surroundings there. And also it's great for an office environment where you can be at your desk, you can be typing, you can be doing work and you can listen to music at your own pace. But if say a colleague calls you, you can answer or even at home, you have kids running around, you're working at home, it's a work from home environment. You're always aware of everything that's happening in the home, but you can act quickly answer that phone call. Uh, directly with these and I think that's where it really shines now I'm sad it doesn't have active noise cancellation and I'm very disappointed it doesn't have wireless charging that part I think you know should should basically uh, be a standard it does have fast charging USB type C but again it's just something that honestly they should have it um, how do I rate these earbuds 
I think they're really solid. Uh, at 299, it's a bit expensive for a lot of people, but I've thoroughly enjoyed them. I do like the audio quality out there. I do know there's some competition out there. I know Huawei has something, I think with the Huawei uh, FreeWire, if I'm not mistaken, that's the name, um, that is similar to this, but I haven't tried them out, so I can't really compare them. But comparing them to what you use with your standard earbuds, like the AirPods Pro and the Galaxy Buds uh, 2 Pro, they're very different and in very different segments. So it's not really a fair comparison there. But on its own, I think it's a solid product. The 299 price point is a bit high. I would have liked something closer to $200 instead of uh, $299. But if you're looking for something like this, I think they're awesome. And I wanna see more colors from Bose, whether it's a gold, something that's more accessorized, but I honestly use them all the time. I've been using them for all the videos I've been doing this you know, this last couple of weeks, I have to take them off, of course, before the videos, but hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you enjoyed the bloopers in this video, if there are any, um, but if you have any questions, any comments, let me know. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, use the link down below to pick this up, and always enjoy your entertainment. Back to some music.